Only a few first sisters were disappointed as Queen Naomi rejected their proposal of taking care of her event allegedly. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to share my video, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support for me. My God will bless you. Guys, the uh, information reaching us right now is that uh, the, uh, the sisters to the king, they were devastated as Queen Naomi disappointed them. You know that before now, they said any event that is taking place in the palace, they used to take charge, you know, and from there, they will get their own shares because... KBSC used to allocate a huge amount of money for certain events, especially this type of event that is upcoming. That is Queen Naomi's return to the palace. They say KBSC is making huge preparation concerning that. And one good thing again is that they say KBSC have made it mandatory that Queen Naomi will be fully involved in the preparation, the event planning, and everything that has to do with her return. Uh, just her and the, her family members, they said they must be actively involved. And from what we heard, they said KBSC called Quenomi's family and gave them an office in the palace so that they will be comfortable there to plan for the ev upcoming event of their daughter, you know, Quenomi's return to the palace. So, but only sisters... You know, like I said before now, this is always a golden opportunity for them to make huge amount of money out of it. And from the look of things, they said KBSC allocated close to 30 million for this event alone. You know, that does not include the clothes and other things. So this is just for feeding, drinks and some other little, little expenses. But to their greatest surprise, they proposed to Queen Naomi. They told Queen Naomi that they would want to take care of it, that she shouldn't bother herself, they are going to make sure that everything goes well and everything. And to their greatest surprise, they said Queen Naomi told them that they shouldn't worry, that he would take, she would take care of it. And they said upon all their efforts to make Queen Naomi comply, they said Queen Naomi said no, that she already have told people that will take care of it about it and have, as a matter of fact, giving some amount to those of them that will take care of the event. They said they break down in tears, such that they went and complained to the king as usual. Hey, <laughs> you know that these days, all they do is complain to KBSC. Queen Naomi is this, Queen Naomi is that, Queen Naomi is all forgiven. Queen Naomi does that, Queen Naomi did that. The last time it was Tadenikawu, that uh, Queen Naomi did not allow them to carry Tadenikawu. Queen Naomi is stopping them from touching their, their son. Queen Naomi is discriminating their son from them and all of that. Queen Naomi this, Queen Naomi that. The second BSC have told them that, look, oh, you don't blame Queen Naomi. You do not blame her at all. Why she was in the palace with you, did, you did not treat her well. You know? And no one will blame Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi is just a young girl. You know? And when she, she was in the palace, you guys that are supposed to show her love, you showed her hatred. You showed her, op you oppressed her. You join force with the people that are fighting her to fight her the more. As a matter of fact, it is expected that since she has people like you, that no power can push her out of that palace, be it spiritual or physical. Because I believe that if these people, if these three sisters are honestly behind with Naomi in that palace, nothing would have happened. Even when these women are coming, they would have stand their ground to fight the women. Even if the elders stand... They are ladies, and I believe ladies have their powers, you know. They can stand their ground and say that Quenomi goes nowhere, that Quenomi is a blessing to them. But they didn't do any of that. They were busy collecting gifts, collecting money from all these Oloris, whom today have turned to a, a, a viper that is oppressing their, their brother, you know. So, the way they treated Quenomi in the palace... No one will expect Queen Naomi to go and start hugging them and kissing them and, uh, you know, relaxing with them. They can do anything to hurt her. Yes, because the attitude they showed her while she was in the palace have told her that these people don't love me. And if they don't love her, uh, they don't love Tadenika, as long as Tade comes from her. The possibility that they might still hurt the young boy is there. If all of this information we are hearing is true, because I will always remind you that 
all these things that we're sharing with you here, they're all alleged information. So, with the way they treated Queen Naomi in the palace, no one will blame Queen Naomi if she says no to their proposal. And this has to do with the feeding and other things. What if they decide to work with one of these Oloris or work for the elders? Because there are some elders who can go as far as using something to manipulate them such that they might decide to use them against Queen Naomi and Oni of Ife that day. They might not even know it because normally on their own they might not want to hurt their brother. But because Queen Naomi is involved, they can do anything just to ensure that she did not return. That she did not win because to them is a battle of who wins the, the territory. You know? So, instead of uh, complaining, instead of going to KBAC at every given opportunity, t telling KBAC what Queen Naomi is doing and what Queen Naomi is not doing, it's better that they find a way to build trust again, such that Queen Naomi will trust and love them again. Because I heard that Queen Naomi loved them while she was at the palace. She respected them a whole lot. She, she take them as sisters, but they took her as a stranger. It's unfair. It's unfair. Even though at some point they said they were not the real people that drive Queen Naomi out of the palace. But did they try anything to protect her? Did they try their best to protect her? Is it not their duty to protect their brother's wife? Yes. Because as I am, anybody that oppressed my brother's wife, I will oppress that person times two. So that is to tell you that you, you love that person. Even if you don't love that, for the sake of your brother, you do certain things that you don't like doing. But they didn't do any of that. They were busy collecting money, collecting gifts. We heard that then uh, Maria will always come and flash them with the uh, clothes, all these expensive uh, fabrics, with money, with everything. They will uh, be telling her, you are the best candidate for our brother. Today, what is happening? Who is not the best candidate? Why is the brother now not staying with the best candidate to them and is going back to Queen Naomi? So no one should blame Queen Naomi. If, even if I'm Queen Naomi, I wouldn't even allow them to come closer. Let them stay on their lane. And thank God for what we're hearing right now. The Sekabiese have warned them not to be seen in the palace again, on, unless on invitation. That if there's any reason they will have to gather, they should go to their family house and gather. The Ogun will still have a family house. The palace is not their family house. Let her enjoy her marriage. Let him enjoy his, his marriage with Queen Naomi. They should stop interfering in his marriage because their interference have cost him a whole lot. So right now they said they are, they are telling Queen Naomi that this is unfair after all the pleading, after all the begging. One thing about life is when you hurt someone, the person might decide to forgive you for her own sake. If she is a child of God, she would forgive you. But trusting you again will be another problem. So right now, I believe the problem here is trust issue. Queen Naomi doesn't trust them again. But as for forgiveness, she must have forgiven them long ago. Anyway, guys, like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information, okay? Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. Don't forget that I love you guys. Bye for now.